Hey folks, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to go through some worked examples on how to rearrange formulae in National 5 Physics. Now, I've picked out six equations that you'll come across in the National 5 course, and we're going to practice manipulating those and rearranging them. So, if you haven't already done so, check out my other video on rearranging formulae, which covers the theory, and that might give you a bit of help and a bit of insight into what we're about to look at. So let's get started. So question one has three parts to it, A, B, and C, and in each one we're gonna be rearranging for the quantity given in the brackets. So for part A, we've got W equals mg, which is actually something you might have seen in third year, it's the weight equation relating weight, mass, and gravitational field strength. So in part A, we're asked to rearrange W equals mg to find the g. So the way we do this is we have a look at the right-hand side of the equation, and if we want g on its own, then we need to get rid of this m. And the way we get rid of the m is we divide both sides by m. Okay, because right now the m and the g are multiplied together, so we need to do the opposite of multiplication, which is division, to get rid of the m. So we need to divide both sides by m. And if we do that, then we end up on the left-hand side with w over m, and that gives us g on the right-hand side. And then if we swap them over so that the g is on the left-hand side, we should get g equals w over m. Okay, in the next one, part b, we've got eh equals cm delta t, and you'll come across this equation in the properties of matter topic. And in this case, we're asked to rearrange for the quantity m, which is actually mass. So if we were to do this, then we need to get rid of the c and the delta t, the change in temperature delta t, on the right-hand side. So how do we do that? Well, we need to divide both sides by C times delta T. And this is gonna give us M on its own on this side. So if I then put M on its own on the left-hand side, I'm left with M equals EH over C times delta T. And lastly, in part C, we've got A equals N over T. This is the activity equation in the radiation topic, and it wants us to rearrange for the quantity N. So the way we do this is you'll see on the right hand side we've got a t on the bottom of a fraction. So what we want to do to get rid of that t on the denominator, we want to multiply both sides by t. Okay, so we multiply both sides by t and that will give us a t on this side and n on its own. And if we swap them over again, we're left with n equals a times t. Moving on to question two now, these ones are slightly trickier, but let's have a go at them anyway. So again, we have to rearrange for the quantity in brackets. So for part a, it's the acceleration equation, which again, you might have seen in third year. So it says that a equals v minus u over t, and we have to rearrange for the final speed v. So to do that, again, we've got a fraction over here. So we want to get rid of the denominator because that's gonna make things simpler for us. So we need to firstly multiply both sides by t, and that will get rid of this denominator. So we end up with at equals v minus u. And then if we want to get v on its own here, then we need to add u to both sides of our equation. So if we add u to both sides, we're left with v equals u plus at. Moving on to part b now, this equation is another one from the properties of matter topic. And in this one, we've got p1 over t1 equals p2 over t2, and we're asked to rearrange for temperature t1. In this example, we've got two fractions. So we want to get rid of the two fractions first of all, because it's not very nice to deal with fractions in physics. So the way we do this is we can cross multiply. And this is something you might have done in maths. So the way we cross multiply is you take the thing on the top of the fraction on the left hand side and multiply it by the thing on the bottom of the fraction on the right hand side. And then you go to the top of the other side, so the P2, and you multiply that by the bottom of the fraction on the other side, the T1. So this would give us P1 times T2 is equal to P2 times T1. And remember, we still want T1 on its own, so we want to get rid of the P2 from this side. So the way we do that is we then divide both sides by P2. And if we do that, we're left with T1 equals P1 T2 divided by P2. And lastly, for part C, we've got the kinetic energy equation, which is EK equals a half mv squared, where we have to rearrange for the speed v. Now notice that we're asked to find v, but right now we've got a v squared term. So we're gonna have to do a square root at some point in this rearranging. First of all, again, we've got a fraction on the right hand side. So the way we get rid of that is we can multiply both sides by two, first of all. So we end up with two ek equals mv squared. And now we've got an m next to the v squared. So we wanna get rid of the m first of all. So if we divide both sides by m, then we're left with v squared equals 2ek over m. And lastly, to get rid of our squared term and make this just v, then we need to take the square root of both sides. Now the square root of v squared just becomes v, and then the square root of this term will become the square root of that whole thing. So we end up with v equals square root of 2ek divided by m. So that was just a few examples on how to manipulate and rearrange equations that you might see in National 5 Physics. I hope you found it useful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and that you subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.